So once it's centred, you um, start opening it up. And the clay is getting very hard in all these conditions. It can be temperamental. At one stage, I was thinking of doing it for a living, but um, having a, a young child, and I thought it was a bit of a selfish thing to do to um, quit a, a, a well-paid job to um, to take up something I really enjoyed myself. Um, now I've got more time on my hands. Time to kill. This is quite a wobbly one. The mechanics of pulling up clay and all that comes back. It's just the unknown or variable is the uh, like the artistic part, like coming coming up with something creative. Uh, most potters um, aim to create a perfect uh, cylinder or bowl. Uh, and I think the hardest thing is actually to stop yourself from trying to do that and, and come up with something more abstract. And that's what, that's, in fact, having it wobbly is what makes it a little bit more unique. I mean, you, you can buy mass-produced pots any day, but I, I just wanted to make something different. People that do it for a living, even they say every time they open the you know the glaze kiln, they uh, they don't know exactly what they're going to what they're going to find. So that's it. There's a bit of excitement involved in um, in the process itself. And devastation. And it can be, <laughs> yes, it can be de very devastating. 